In Tungamo, we have found a, one a unique issue where cows from the neighboring countries are being fed in, in the country. And uh, I, 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 I have advised them that one, they have identified the, the, the source. Now they must deal with the one who is transporting them. And uh, when, if a, if a DVO gives a family to knowing that these cows are not from Uganda, we shall deal with the DVO. If the, the trader is caught at night with cows, that is breaking the law, those cows should be auctioned. We've put stakeholder meetings, we've designed a number of inter-border meetings with them to brief them about the challenge, and if possible, if they could use the same ownership document, and also they should use legal means. We cannot ascertain which farms they are coming from. We cannot ascertain their hairy status. It therefore becomes difficult for us to control the disease, which is our major concern uh, as the Tunga district. Because we are lucky up to now, in the region, uh, we have not had an outbreak of foot and mouth disease. We have been able to control that. Now, if we allow these animals from the neighboring country to come, whose origin we are not very sure of, then we are at the risk of contracting a disease which we are trying to fight. So I'm happy, during our discussion with the minister, he has every guide that these animals whose origin is not known to us, we should not allow them to cross our system. So we are going to implement that uh, guidance. We are going to continue impounding these trucks, carrying these animals, and putting them to public auction.